Hi guys and welcome to the third video of my Game of Thrones Let's Talk series. And in this video I'm going to be talking about the end of Season 3. So if you haven't watched it yet, go out and watch Episode 10 before continuing with this video. So I do not want anyone crying to me in the comments that I've spoiled the ending for them. So go out there and watch Episode 10. So if you've watched my other two videos on the Game of Thrones series, um, you'll know that I've read all six books that are currently out at the moment. But my aim is not to try and spoil it for anyone that hasn't read these books. Okay, so let's jump straight in. So this season for me has been the best season in the Game of Thrones series so far. And that's because it's pushed the story forward at quite a fast pace, but also not missed too many important factors out. Obviously there's still a couple of characters missing, which names I'm not going to mention. And strangely enough, they've kind of crossed over into book six somehow um, with the story of Theon Greyjoy which I won't go into but it, you know it, it all fits in there somehow and uh, obviously for those who have read book six know it kind of flips back in time a little bit means each chapter is done by a single character so it, it crosses back in time a little bit and covers what it missed out in the in the fifth book but where they really hit the mark for me in this episode was the fact that they got in there, Sam meeting Bran uh, near the wall and Sam trying to persuade Bran to go with him and then obviously Sam then helping Bran to move forward in his quest. And then you've got Davos Seaworth, my second favourite character in the TV series and in the books, helping Gendry to escape the Red Witch. And obviously for those who read the books know that Gendry actually replaces his character, not too big of a spoiler. Um, but that's actually still done pretty well and it kind of fits, makes it a little less confusing for people just watching the TV series because then there'd be so many characters in there, it'd just be difficult to keep hold of and probably you'd lose interest. And the other two things that hit, really hit the mark for me was one, Rob Stark's body with the wolf's head, with um, Grey Wind's head, that, that, it looked cool on screen and I mean it's grotesque to read in the book and you just get more of a flavour for how the phrase are just they've they've gone too far basically secondly finding out that the person torturing Theon Greyjoy is Ramsay Snow Roose Bolton's bastard but for me actually they slipped up a little bit here the producer of the TV show mainly because when they the Iron Lands received a letter from Ramsay Snow he signs it Ramsay Snow and now in the books he does not ever want to associate himself with being a bastard. He believes himself to be the true heir to the Bolton family titles and everything, so a little slip up, but not, nothing major. On a side note, actually, the actor Ewan Rayon, who plays uh, Ramsay Snow, is a brilliant actor, plays with the role very well, and uh, actually, he's also a singer songwriter, so you should probably check out some of his music, actually, it's not too bad. Now, throughout this episode, there's serious hints and leadings concerning the character Tyrion which I won't spoil for anyone but that was done really well as well and also the end of the episode really ties it up nicely for the next season with Jon Snow returning to the uh, Night's Watch uh, Maester Aemon revealing a little bit about his past and getting the ravens sent out with the message and Stannis obviously receiving it and going to charge up there with his army however there's still something really missing for me and that is cold hands I won't go any further but it's a character that I really want to discover more about in the books and I'm a bit disappointed that he's not in the TV show but you can't ever think and has anyone else noticed how they really like to end the series with or the seasons with Daenerys every single season so far has finished with her and it's a bit weird because she's so separated from the rest of everyone else that to finish the season with her just seems a bit odd but obviously I suppose it gives her a bit more character time as it were so we can see her character develop just a bit weird so that's my quick summary of se season 3 and episode 10 and uh, I suppose I'll see you again when Game of Thrones starts up again which I have no idea when that's going to be I'm guessing it's near October sometime that's far too long to wait seriously they should they should just pump out every season one after the other I mean 
I know people say that, oh, you'll get bored if they do that. Seriously won't. Honestly won't, because they'll pump it out. I'll watch them all in a row. The DVD will come out, so I'll watch all that. And then I'll watch the extended commentaries and stuff, so, you know. I won't get bored. Loads of stuff to do. So, yeah. I'll see you guys next time.